Hey everyone. I know it's been a while. I am planning on bringing you an interview soon. I'm sorry, it's just life is kind of crazy. But this is something that I felt was really important to do right now because I've been recommending it to so many people. Um, it's an exercise that I do daily along with my kundalini meditation and some light yoga stretches and things. It's called the Mortar March. Now, the Mortar March is designed to balance the right and left hemispheres of the brain. I've mentioned this to you before, I think, that I believe that our brains become really left brain dominant during this process of withdrawal and recovery. And when people do something right brained, like something creative or writing with their left hand, often they'll experience an easing of symptoms or maybe a temporary window. So I really do think there is something to this. And this is actually really simple. It's fast and it's fairly easy to do. So I feel like this is something everyone can do daily if they wanted to. I'm going to demonstrate it for you. But before I do, there's something that you kind of need to have under your belt. And I call it dropping in or coming onto self. So we're going to just practice this really quick. Stick with me here. Um, I want you to not look at me. Look somewhere in the room, um, a few feet away from you or outside or whatever, and focus your eyes and look intensely at that spot. All of your focus should be there and everything else just kind of goes away. You're right there in that moment. Okay, now come back to yourself. Take, maybe take a breath and now you're aware of yourself. Maybe you're aware of the nose on your face or your hair or some bodily sensations that you were ignoring as you were focusing out there. That is what it is to drop in and come on to self. And you'll get better at that as, as you practice this daily, but let's just try this one more time now that you understand what it is. So focus somewhere else, stare intently, all of yourself is out there. And now bring it back in. And now you're aware. Maybe you feel a sudden like wait or a brightening of the room or something because you're totally in on yourself. Okay. As we do the mortar march, you're going to hold your breath. And the reason why we do this is to tap in to that subconscious fight or flight response, right? That's regulated by the GABA glutamate cycle that's totally out of whack here as our amygdalas become uh, overactive and our sense of self-preservation takes over. We want to tap into that with the conscious brain and tell essentially our subconscious brain, okay, that fear that you feel, that sense of survival that, you, that you're holding onto, we're okay. We've got this. We're in control. We don't live there anymore. We're choosing to live in a place of serenity and peace. Uh, so that's what that part of this exercise is about, just so you know. And now I'm going to demonstrate it for you. And we'll come back here in a second. To do the mortar march, put your right leg forward over your ankle, not your toes, left leg back. Extend your left arm up, right arm back, fingers extended. Tilt your head to your left arm. Close your right eye, look up at your thumb with your left eye. Take a big breath in and hold and focus your mind on peace, perhaps the most peaceful experience you've ever had in your life. Focus on that memory. Be sure you drop in, come to self and release when you can't hold it any longer maybe about 10 seconds. Now we're going to have left leg forward, right leg back, right arm up, tilt your head to your right arm, close your left eye, look up at your right thumb, big breath in and hold. Focus on that peace. Stay in yourself. Hold it as long as you can. And now release. We're going to do it one more time on each side. So in right leg forward again, left arm goes back up. You're going to tilt your head to your left arm. Close your right eye. 
Focus on your thumb with your left. You could also focus on love, joy, forgiveness. Release it. Take a breath or two. We're going to turn to the other side with the left leg forward. Or you could march across your room. This is how I'm doing it in limited space. Right arm up. Tilt your head to right arm. Look at that thumb with your right eye. Come to self. Hold your breath as long as you can till it feels a little uncomfortable and release. I hope you found that useful. Um, I really do feel that this is worthwhile to do every day if that is too difficult for you. You could start off on your hands and knees like you're crawling and do the exact same thing, but just put one leg forward and the opposite hand slightly forward and tilt your head and do the same exercise until you can do it standing up. I hope this is a helpful part of your healing journey and I wish you all continued healing.